here. Put your hand between the two stones. Come close, come close. Can you see Brian and Daniel? This is the largest one piece of stone discovered in Israel. One piece of stone. From Brian all the way to Daniel, one piece of stone. And now the second largest is exactly behind Daniel, the second one. Now the second. Now what we know, thank you Brian, what we know, and Daniel, what we know is, what we know about the height of the stone is what we can see. But we don't know if that was even higher than that or not. Amazing. You will be wondering how on earth they moved these stones that they put it one on the top of each other. The answer for these questions will be when I will show you a movie how they do that. No matter how we explain it, the movie will make it even better. Well, listen. So how deep is it? We don't know yet even. We have to go through the other side of the wall to know how deep. And do you know what we have on the other side? The Muslims. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. So, yeah. Guys, you see there are like things Let's coming check out. Check out the way those stones these are, are dressed. coming out of the stones, like these uh, pieces. You've seen that before? Stones. This is to part actually these stones with the animals, with the ropes, so they can actually move them. And they can move them from one place to another. Now, just before we leave, I just want to tell you that Herod the Great wanted to you know, write his name on all these stones. So, so, be, so uh, in the future, people can tell that, oh, this is the building of Herod. Oh, these are the stones of Herod the Great. So what, you know what he did? He framed them. Look, all the stones are framed. Look, framed, 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 framed. This is framed. You look, you look all the way in one line. Look how beautiful, one line. And by the way, they used to put one stone on the top and they used to leave like two millimeters inside and then another two levels two millimeters inside why you know what architects you know why keep from falling out uh -huh. to keep the wall from falling out not only that for your eyes to see it is one piece mm. so you, when you look at the wall you will see it one piece actually it's not one piece it goes like this mm. all the way in every every few stones they just push it inside amazing what they did look in one mind they were professional and that was a huge wall so you know west and we have a lot of rain in Jerusalem that hits actually these walls and the water will come down. So, if, so they don't want to waste even one drop of water. So all the water that used to run from the big wall, it will be gathered in water canal. There was a water canal at the bottom of the wall to gather all this water and keep them in the system. Rainwater, it's clean. Why do they have to go for nothing? Now listen, I told you, that the men they are praying there because they feel they feel they are close to what to the Holy of Holies. Remember, mm -hmm. and they said that the Jewish orders they cannot go up to the mosque, so they reach that door. Well, we are even closer than that because we are in the tunnel, but they cannot come here, and they, that's why they went there. Now, when they when they uh, discovered this area and they clean and they discovered all the world, they reach to a certain point that they are exactly behind the Holy of Holies. Where are they? Where the, where the women are praying there under the arch. So when you will be there, you are in one line with the back of the house. So that is closer to any of these people who are praying outside. That's why they allow only two or three women by uh, every, every while to go inside and to pray. You have the chance to put your hand just under the arch there, where you can be in one line. I'm not saying you know, one of the is behind the wall now. But you are in one line with the Holy of okay? When we came here last time, we started, we came down this wall. Oh. So all this back here, we didn't see. Oh. Do you remember? Uh -huh. I remember hitting the edge of it down there. and This is, that sucker is huge. Yeah. Oh. And the next one's almost as big.
So when they did these arches, they created by groups. So they walked in the 